Hello, I am Kalsa Sheva, Jackie here, and welcome back to my great grandfather's here. And we up to the last match of the season against Ipswich Wonders, and we will just use some of the players that hasn't been used that much. As you can see, we're 12 there, so stable in the mid table. <laughs> They're almost rhymed. And as you can see, Paul Hancock is scoring the goals, and Nathan Baker uh, has best average rating there. 11 goals from 33 matches. His contract is going out, but we're definitely going to give him a new contract. Nathan Baker with the most assist and best average rating. And Beringham here, I don't know, was the best pass completion maybe? Um, yeah, we want to get him in. Yes, best pass completion, best man of matches. Jules and Bo uh, Baker there. And then we can see the recent schedule here. So it's gone pretty good. We have actually just lost two matches in recent time. We won uh, against Hall Beach. 1-0 there. Hancock scoring the goals. We did not actually create that many chances. But we managed to win in the end. So I'm pretty happy. Uh, Hancock has been superb. Actually a best goal scorer. I thought they would be Julius. But sadly not. Jonas here in two. Hancock, who scores the matched only goal there. And then against Tatchem, we won Julius scoring a goal, Smith there, and then Fosmo scoring a goal. So we'll show some of the goals here. So here we win back the ball. Hancock holds up the ball, get right through ball there to Julius, who scores. This is a bottom team after all, so it's not surprising. Ryan Smith's goal was his only goals for the season here. So, yeah, surprised that he scores some, some goals here. And then Fosmo ending off with uh, us winning here, 3-1. Birmingham and then Fosmo goes through here and a great shot there. And then Tad Caster, we won as well. 3-1 there. Hancock, Julius and Baker scoring. I will not show every goal there. Unfortunately, in Bristol, we should have won this. Probably at least gotten a draw. And the same against Mansfield. They're not that great. They're near the bottom. More like it. But yeah, they took their chances there. A late penalty they won on. And from uh, we won here. Hancock scoring a hat-trick. So yeah, like I said, he's been outstanding. Wheatley Bay has, I think they've been a surprise package, but we w managed to smash them. 5 1 here. Hancock with one goal, uh, one goal from Barker, and then a hat trick from Julius here. So Barker, great cross in here, and Hancock picks it up and scores the first goal there. Or actually, they have actually scored the first goal there, but we managed to come back. Hancock. Through ball to Julius again, great shot there, just place it down there in the corner. And then we had another goal here, Julius again, great pass there, and a lob over the keeper there. And then, oh yeah, I forgot to show you this goal here, good win. To Baker here, comes through and a great shot there. Also in the other corner near the post. And then Julius, Tetrick is completed here already in 57 minutes. Through ball and he snaps it in there. And then Saffron Walder, a little bit of a tricky game but we managed to win in the end. Keen, uh, good win, scored his goal, probably one of his... Um, yeah, he hasn't scored that many goals, so probably one of his first goal, or if it even was his first goal here for the club, I don't remember really. So great shot there in the 85th minute, and we won that. And Royal, whatever they call, <laughs> I believe I even forgot that, that Julius scored a hat-trick once again, so he's been a little bit better here in the end. And then against Warksop we managed to win. They are in the bottom. There's Baker and Hancock. And today we meet the Ipswich Wonders. So decided to go for a very rotated lineup here just to 
give some players that hasn't played that much and hopefully get them in there. So we have actually signed uh, Nicky Hall here. So that's really nice. He actually, uh, he's um, loan actually. He had uh, actually wages for his loan which we paid. Which may, made so we do, did not have to pay so much more for his wages there. So Maximin Quinge, we're probably not going to keep him. Probably going to let him go. Hopefully we get some of the loans here for next season. Pike, we're probably going to let him go as well. This is, um, I should say as well, this is post commentary because my... Microphone was just very weird and the uh, audio was really terrible. Monroe probably want to let go. He's not done it great recent two seasons. He even scored five goals last season there. Uh, Jonas probably also going to let go. He scored five goals but he's not been brilliant. And then Mohamed will probably also going to let go because he has just paced there. I was thinking of keeping him as a f uh, fourth choice but it's not going to get any better. As you can see there. Lot of player line up to coming in here. Ethan Hunter is a right back. Cooligan that played for us this season but actually did not do that good. And then some other defenders there. So going with the usual home tactics. I'm not expecting that much since uh, we meet in the team in the top. We will just see what these ones can do. Uh, Joe Atkinson isn't great. We might sell him next season. His contract's not going out, but his wage is pretty high there for not even being the first choice. To go with this lineup, Coogan, Rowe, Edwards, Owen, two loans. We hope we can get them in for the next season. Maybe. Uh, dubious, so we will just see. Not sure that we will get them in. They're not the best right now, but it can definitely improve and have a lot of potential there. Possessioning, yeah, that's what they're lacking of. And his mentors are not super great there. Gordon Rowe. And Edwards Owen is basically the same as well. His positioning is pretty bad. Also, uh, Pike there, Robinson, uh, Fosmo we're getting in as well, giving him a game time. Robinson I probably will not uh, reloan him because he's not done it yet. Great Fosmo, which we got in for youth and take his actual played a little bit here. 11 matches, 2 goals, so not too bad. Monroe, we're just changing him into sportive. Jonas, Alisua and Hancock. Hancock as a, a target man there. And Mohamed Alisua as a pressing forward. As you can see, a lot of changes there, but I thought, let's just give these players a last goodbye or whatever. There's probably most of them is going to leave us. So it wasn't that we can't really get that much places in the table either, so it's kind of fine. Whatever happens, happens. <laughs> How to say it, really? So they attacking here. Diakite. Pike uh, intercepts there though to Hancock to Fosmo Fosmo to Jonas tries to shoot uh, but it's a good save from the goalkeeper there we almost crossed the line there very very close for a Sheffield goal there in the beginning that would have been surprising Pike Jonas Hancock Pike Fosmo Fortunately plays the ball wrong. They win back the ball here. Sweeney. Smith. They have just dominated the league. So don't be surprised if we lose here 3-0 or something like that. Wouldn't at all be shocking. They are way better. Baxter and Steve Smith scored the first goal here for <laughs> with their first shot on target there. So thinking if I should do any changes, decide not to do that much. Still go uh, positive and demand more. Uh, I guess it is more of a B team, so we wouldn't expect a super good match. And it doesn't really matter since we're not going to get. Might lose some positions as you can see there. We're 13 right now, but 
Who really cares? It doesn't really matter. We are still mid-table. We did everything we should do this season for the club, so we're safe. At least gonna play for next season. We will see what they want from us. So, yeah, they have created way more chances than us. We have really not done anything here. And we go at least to half time with just 1 nil for Ipswich Wanderers. I expect more from you doing some changes here. I believe we get in some youngsters probably. Yeah, we get in Beringham here in instead for Sturla. And who else are we getting in here? Graham. And moving him down there since he's playing better there. And attacking. He's actually pretty good there. Pretty good dribbles, first touch. Uh, free kicks. Really good mentals. Physical's not that great though. But I think he has some potential. He's just 16 years old. And fortunately it's um, unambitious there. But he still have already one star. So we give the youngster some game time. And they, we will see uh, how good they can do. We'll probably get smashed in the second half as well. I would be surprised if we win this match. Kelly. The corner and Ryan Phillips. Callum Ryan Phillips scored the goals there on the corner. Not the greatest defense there by us. Going balance here. Trying to be a little bit more solid defensively. And don't want to review that once again. I was thinking of actually doing the two last matches, but I was like, oh well. It wasn't that interesting since it was against the bottom team. It would have been so long episode uh, when I recorded this 29 minutes. I might take out some, but still, I still feel like it's going to be 20, uh, 25, 24 minutes, so... Still pretty long. Atkinson there to Rove. Through ball. Hancock trying to keep up there. But it's a little bit slow maybe as a target man. For sure we don't put on enough of pressure there. Diakite. Randall. Shoots and it's a great shot. And they 3 nil up after 68 minutes there. We do not really have a chance unfortunately against Ipswich Wonders. There are... After all, dominating the league, and I believe they were winning the league with at least 6 or maybe even 8 points here. So, it isn't surprising. It's a little bit unfortunate since it is ha at home. I feel like we should be able to create some more chances. But it is what it is. We would be surprised if we won this match against the top team here. I guess they have nothing really to play for, and we have nothing either to play for, but... They might actually have better players, probably, <laughs> that is the case. Baxter, cleared the way now, Hancock comes here, can he get the ball to Julius maybe? Yeah, the ball goes to Julius there, Jonas, ready to pick it up, unfortunately not. Uh, Maximin Cohen, Edwards Owen there, cuts it down, but they cleared again, pretty good defense here by them. Uh, Julius is, but unfortunately he's offside, definitely there. Rowe with a free kick here. Through ball to Hancock, is he going to be offside? Probably not, and we are free one up. And a little bit of hope there in the 79 minutes. A great through ball there by Rowe. By pushing forward here, Porter, Randall. Benningham clears the dough upwards, but they are first there. Robinson, Hancock, can we score another goal here? Julius goes through, and he gets behind, and he scores the goals. He's 11 goal of the season, but Hancock has scored probably one more there, or it might be that he scored still more goals uh, for the cups and such. So yeah, unfortunately we're dropping down there. 3-2 is still not too bad against a team that uh, are dominating the league there. We'll see, will they score any last goal here? No, it will probably be 
32 for Ipswich Wanderers. Still pretty happy about that. Maybe not the best. Play not play the best, but Julius and Hancock was uh, as usual really good there. Okay, so we finish off 13 there, uh, nine points down there, so pretty decent still. Uh, yeah, sure, we could have done it better, been top half, but yeah, uh, still, we did what we should do. As I said, there means uh, the goal, and yeah, three losses there in the end, but yeah, pretty decent still. A lot of uh, victories there, and yeah. Uh, pretty solid defensively, but uh, theory Marsh, we actually concede a lot of goals, but we start or Yeah, it's just a yeah, this is the first season back here. Yeah, we did start against Ips which year we one nil or four nil down But here we have come back and been really good and we did not win again uh, until the north which bear but we finally won and we have actually released some players here as well which was uh, own project so we released uh, Fitzpatrick that is a uh, left winger there it's not going to get that much better it's not great right now and he's like 18 uh, Chris Reed we let go of there his mentals are not that bad, but physically and uh, technically is not great. And how were one of the own projects here? Marking and heading is really poor there. And his mentals are not great either. And Reeves. Uh, a goalkeeper there. Not great either. Davis. Uh, Bod Bodro as well. Yeah, most of these, they are not going to develop the nice and Will Elliott is, uh, will let go as well, so a lot of youngsters here. And Poole, that is a uh, striker, not going to AS, great finishing, but it's terrible uh, mentals and physical stairs, so yeah, and have no potential leader, so yeah, did let go of a lot of players there, and we will see. We are, like you have seen, they're getting in a lot of new players as well, and probably, yeah, here we will release all the, all these. And that isn't good enough. So yeah, his mentors are pretty good, but he has this. Uh, two stars here, so that's not really like, cutting it anymore, sadly. <laughs> and yeah, his recent season has been pretty poor there. And Monroe, we will let go of him as well. Pretty good. Uh, dribbles there and um, pace, but elsewhere not really that great. So we will have the review here soon. Just clicking forward and progressing. Processing, I guess, progressing. So here we have it. Uh, they are C plus with most. I thought that was really weird. Uh, they give Nick Cole his A since he's been a great star there. But I'm happy with some of this. Uh, Dungan, they are not that happy with since he was very expensive. But overall, it's the C for the transfers and it's. About to see for all of the players that we let go of as well, so nothing surprising there, really. <laughs> Already even shows up the player that we just let go. Him they are annoyed at, but I did not even let him go there, so I don't know why they let him go to Barnet. So board is delighted with a mid-table position in the pitching, and uh, North Premier League, yeah, Division 1 here. And uh, considering when the relegation is more even, more impressive. Tom Hancock, most assist. Avoid relegation, as you can see, a lot of draws and a lot of losses in the beginning of the season. But we managed to turn it out around really nice. So we had there against Ipswich Wanderers, I believe we started off. And then we managed to take some victories. Also, so there was a first win there. 
So here we have some memorable things. Biggest win there against Whitley Bay. And then we had 3-0 against uh, Froome, which was matched to remember. <laughs> yeah, there I was really confused, but that was a player that we did not even have. So finances, I don't know why it's so red, but it is. And the players that sold the most shirt is Baker, Julius, Cohen. I was a little bit surprised by that. And Hancock. Then I don't know what the last one is since I have my face cam there. So it's a very weird lineup. Uh, Cook and Davis that hasn't even played a match. And uh, yeah, I guess Atkinson makes sense. Maxim there. Uh, but yeah, really strange some of these choices here, which did not even play any matches for me, but I guess it was almost half the season before I got in here. Reynolds has done really decent though, Baker was really good there, so really strange midfield there. Brian uh, Jonas did a decent, but did not play that much, so that's strange, but the striker makes sense uh, at least. So here we go to the average rating. Hancock doing it really good all around, scoring a lot of goals. Baker the most assists, most average rating, best average rating on most <laughs> matches there. And Ali actually had most goals scored. Uh, so yeah, as you can see, he scored them a lot of goals before uh, yeah this season, which wasn't great. So yeah, there we can see. And then we can finish off here and we will see what our what they want us to achieve for the next season. They wanted playoffs. I was like, oh, how are we going to achieve this? I was really worried. So <laughs> yeah, when I saw this and uh, sadly I couldn't change that either. Repair the finances as well and play defensive solo football and develop players from the uh, youth syst clubs, youth system, so it seems really tough after we fighting for relegation just ended mid-table, but I can't really do that much. I think I was thinking of getting rid of, like, repair the financial situation, but I couldn't get that away, <laughs> sadly there. But yeah, it seems tough, but we will do our best try there. Unfortunately, I believe we did not get more money for the next season, sadly. So it's about the same amount of money. So yeah, I was thinking of keeping him here a while, but I'm probably going to let him go. And Pike, I also was keeping a while, but then I decided, nah, let's go with him. I believe we did not even have that much money. 578, so... But most of those signings are actually... And non contract so we need a l uh, maybe a left winger there or a definitely striker central midfielders, probably a left defender there as may well maybe a uh, backup goalkeeper so we eat them wood there that we haven't scouted that much but it looks decent he's a right back after all but we need a left back uh Leon Edwards row there and then our Ashley Porters. That we sadly can't see that much about, so we will see how good it is. And Aston Cullen, that hasn't even played that much. But we'll probably be like five more signings or whatever. And then we'll see as well if we can get Benningham back there. So yeah, as you can see, the central midfield looks really kind of poor as well there. So we have 19 players right now. But a lot of them are actually uh, youngsters as well, so... So yeah, we were seeing here with Tursley, but sadly, they don't want to loan him out for the next season, so it is what it is. But as you can see, we don't have that many players that like four stars right now. We have a lot of players that have potential for more, but yeah, here we can see Tursley. It looks pretty good, but sadly, I tried to loan them there, and they don't want to. All right. Oh, I'm making a quiet idea, but I'm pretty sure I would not be able to get them. I think I, will, I was about to show you here that I couldn't get them, but I guess it's just from struggles about here. I tried to figure out this to show you here, but yeah, I did not manage to do that. So yeah, for next season we will try to get to the playoff 
and hopefully strengthen up and have a good enough team to finish in the playoff. So, uh, yeah, thank you all for watching. Have a good tea and a good coffee day, and I see you soon again. So, bye!